We're back after the bye week with head coach Miguel Regalado. Coach, what did you guys do this past week, kind of get healthy, get get guys back in gear, and kind of get ready for this week? Yeah, you know, it, people forget our guys, you know, they're, they're, they're grinding from June 1st all the way up into the bye week. And every coach, I think KP has a different philosophy. Uh, I, our, our philosophy last year was we needed to practice. Our philosophy this year was our guys need to get away. I mean, they, they, they have been getting after it. Uh, some of these guys were 21-0 in the summer, carried right into August camp, then right into the season, and we played five games, and they needed a break. So, honestly, it was recruiting for the staff, and it was get healthy. We told our, our players they have two, two jobs, get healthy, recharge, excuse me, three jobs, and then get right, uh, back on track in the classroom. Do you kind of look at it look at it as two separate seasons, kind of right after the bye week? Do you, what does it take to kind of get the guys back up? And hey, we, we still have a second half of the season here to finish out. That's exactly how I look at it. I, I tell them I have kind of a um, tradition where we have a team meeting on Monday, and then I tell them we're going to the locker room and we're cleaning that thing out. And I want it to look like we just showed up in camp in August because it's a brand new season. We're zero and zero. Uh, what the first half of the season does, it gives you a really good gauge on where you're at and really more importantly, the things that you've got to fix in the next four to five weeks to make a run in the postseason. So it's absolutely a brand new season. Everybody's got a clean slate and we're gonna figure out what we're about this week. First trip to Fulton, Missouri this weekend, you guys take on William Woods. What do you expect to see from them uh, heading into this first game, first time ever playing them as a new program? You know, on tape, they're playing really hard. They're playing really hard on defense. They are struggling on offense. They're struggling on special forces, but that's, you know, uh, KP, when I took over at Clark, if they had told me that you're going to start play the very first year, I, we would have been the same. We would have been in the same boat. It's really, really tough to do that. But I give them credit because on defense, they are competing really hard. They actually had Mid-America giving Mid-America Mid fits in the first quarter of their game. They have about seven drives where they stalled Grand, Grandview's offense out. They're playing really hard, so we've got to start fast on offense. I really think we have an, a, an advantage with our defense and with our special forces. And then I would like to see our running game continue where they left off after the Missouri Valley game. Obviously, the rest of the season is kind of in your guys' hands. What, what, do you, what do you tell the guys to finish out this season, kind of get ready uh, as we go week by week? You know, I, our special forces has been consistent all year long, so I feel very good about that. We need to continue what we're doing there. On defense, I would like us to see us. I would like to see us start fast in games and limit big plays. On offense, I would like to see our running game continue where it was in Missouri Valley. It was nice to see a guy like Chauncey uh, really uh, break out last week. And I think you know, you kind of forget. I asked Chauncey uh, earlier today. I said, you know. Remind me again how much you carried that ball before th this season, and it's it's been a bit for him. And so you got to remember, Cole Fisher tears the ACL. Chauncey hadn't played a whole lot of football last year before this year. Those guys are just now hitting their stride. So I want to see our running game continue to get there, and then we've got to fix the red zone. We are we are not good at scoring touchdowns in the red zone right now. And I think if you do correct those two things on offense and and, and those two things on defense, I think we got a dangerous football team. Awesome. Well, thanks for your time today, Coach. Good luck this weekend. Be sure to tune in to BakerWildcats.com on Saturday at 1 p.m. as the Wildcats take on William Woods.